say hi from Cherish Mac. In this question, we're going to find the area of this green region based on the diagram here. I'm going to use the concept of similarity to solve the problem here. In this case, for the triangle of DAB is similar to the triangle of PDA. Let me mock up the triangle of DAB and this is the shape. And now let me rotate the shape of this It is now in a portrait mode. Let me label the corner D, A, B and the length of the respective sides. By looking at the triangle D, A, B and the triangle of P, D, A, these two triangles are similar to each other. And the side that's similar to each other is A, B with the D, A. And I'm going to produce 8 over 6 as the scale factor for the length. And the same concept is going to apply with AD, which is 6 here, divided by DP. And the value of DP that I'm getting here is 4.5. Let me clean up this red triangle for more space on the next calculation. Now, by referring to the triangle of the same DAB, triangle DAB, I'm going to work out what is the length of the BB by using the Pythagoras theorem. That is the square root of 8 square plus the 6 square. So the length of the BB that I'm getting here is 10 units. Again, with the same idea of similarity, I can conclude that for the triangle of DAB is similar with the triangle of AQB. Now, by using the scale factor of 10 divided by 8, and that is going to apply for 6 divided by AQ because 6 and AQ which is this length AD and the AQ is in fact similar so the value of the AQ that I'm going to get here is 4.8 I'm trying to find out this green area is by using the area of the rectangle minus the area of this ADP, the triangle of the ADP, and minus the triangle of AQB. Let me label the length on each side. DP is 4.5. So this is 4.5 for DP. AQ is 4.8. This is AQ, which is at 4.8. And now I want to find what is the length of BQ is by using the Pythagoras theorem and that is by using the square root of 8 square minus 4.8 square and that is going to give us 6.4 as the length of the BQ. I have all information on the side length to be used for the calculation of the green area. So now the green area is equal to 8 times 6 as the area of the rectangle minus 1 half times 4.5 times 6 as the area of the triangle ADP minus 1 half times 4.8 times 6.4 as the area of the triangle AQB. And that is going to give me the green area with 19.14 units square and I solved the problem. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.